Good morning and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you my routine, how I like to get ready when I'm going to be traveling, when I'm going to be flying somewhere. So I always start off with a fresh face. I have a really simple skincare routine. Um, really just kind of two or three things. And it's fairly natural. Right now, I just kind of got back from a long road trip and just wasn't able to do my usual routine. So I have a little bit of, you know, stuff, but I'm fine. Um, but sometimes I can share with you my skincare routine if you guys are interested in hearing that. Um, but with no further ado, I'll just jump right into it. So I like to use my beauty blender to just make sure everything kind of still has a skin-like look to it. Most of my makeup routine I try to keep pretty simple. The foundation that I put all over my face, I use it because it has SPF and it's very sheer coverage as you can tell. With my beauty blender, I like to put my organic rosehip oil on it. I'm fairly certain this stuff is cold pressed, 
Um, it's certified organic. And this is actually all I use as my moisturizer morning and night. And I love it. And it works just fine for me. And it lasts for a good long time. You just have to make sure to keep it in a cooler place so that it doesn't go bad quickly. But I just put a few drops on there and go all over. I don't like to put bronzer or powder blush on. My powder blush is this MAC stuff when I'm flying. Just because, like I, like I said, I like to keep it pretty minimal. And also in a second you'll see what else I like to wear when I'm flying that kind of needs everything else to be a little bit more toned down. The last bit that I like to add to my airport traveling look is something that's kind of a little bit more fun because traveling's fun and while for the most part you want to be extra comfortable on the plane and look plain on the plane. It's also an adventure and I think you should you know add something to your look to make you feel excited and happy. So um, what I like to add is my NARS I can't even remember the name. I think it's called like Dominique something, something or other. But it's purple lipstick and I love this shade for my coloring personally. I can't really imagine it looking bad on anyone though. It's just kind of a cooler toned down purple. So love this stuff. And I have the slip liner to go with it. It's NARS as well. And at one time or another, I read that it's best to apply lipstick with a brush. It makes it last longer or it just makes it go on more evenly. I don't know, but I do, so there you have it. Um, so I'm going to put that on and then I'll talk to you guys in a second. I love this shade for my coloring, but I can't imagine that it would look that bad on anyone else. It's just a really cool kind of relaxed purple. Not too flashy in my opinion, but just kind of adds some of that personality. And I love wearing it when I'm traveling because traveling is exciting and it's an adventure. And I think if this is what makes you feel your best, as it does me, then go ahead and wear it. I also um, use it with NARS lip liner. Sometimes all I use is the lip liner. I just kind of put it on my lips if I want it a little bit more downplayed um, with some gloss over the top. Just light pink gloss. I don't go over the top with the purple. Um, but yeah, that's all I add. So I'm going to get into doing my hair. I am currently trying to use up my It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product. It adds thermal protectant, which I'm trying to grow out my hair after cutting it and dyeing it, which maybe sometime I'll show with you guys. I totally regret coloring my hair, but it's fine. But I'm just doing everything I can to baby it so that it will grow out lovely and long again. 
Um, so yeah, I'll quickly do my hair and be back with you in a second. Guys, make sure that you always comb your hair starting from the bottom and then working your way up. That way you damage your hair less, you're tearing at your hair less and it just kind of helps it to stay a little bit healthier. So once I have my ends curled, I could use a larger barrel, but I like to just kind of comb out the curls so that they're a little bit more toned down. So I use a smaller barrel size and then tone it down. When I'm traveling, I just like to do whatever is easiest with my hair. Sometimes I leave it down, but oftentimes I like having my hair up off my neck. So lately I've gotten into wearing my hair up in, I think it's a French twist. Um, so what I do is I gather it in a little pony, grab it from underneath, twist it up, take my stretchy hair clip. This has rubber on the inside. I've got fairly fine hair. And so this just holds onto it well. And then I put it at the base. I don't like that. Let's try that again. And then I've just got this nice updo that when I get to my destination and take it down, it's going to still look nice and curled and not have like a hair elastic kink in it. Um, but it keeps it off my neck for the flight, which I love. And I don't know why I love this so much. My mom always used to wear her hair like this. And I don't know. For some reason it makes me feel French. I don't know that it's French hairstyle at all. I think it's like a type of French hair twist. But there you have it. I also want to add before I go on trips. I like to either completely take off all my nail polish. Because one of my biggest pet peeves is when I see girls with colored nail polish and it's chipped and I just think that looks so, so ragged. I, I don't like it. I either like to take off all my nail polish, hands and feet, or I put a clear or light pink coat that if it does start to chip off throughout my trip then I won't really be able to tell them so will no one else. So that's one thing. Another thing, I don't like to bring a lot of jewelry when I travel, maybe just earrings, really simple, easy earrings. These ones I actually don't even have to take out. Sometimes when I sleep on, on ones with backs, it just pokes and it hurts, but these I hardly know they're there, and I love necklaces. I'm a necklace girl. So I usually bring just one necklace that I'll like to wear. Not big on bracelets, not big on rings. I think that's all. Oh, another thing. So, you guys probably noticed that I use this on my eyebrows. Before I go somewhere, I just want to start it fresh. I like to shower the day before or the morning of that I'm leaving and make sure, like I said, my nails are clean and my eyebrows are plucked. And this razor is just great to get rid of any little pale hairs that may be hiding there. Just kind of helps to give me a cleaner look. Last thing, like I've said before, when you are flying you don't want to be wearing contacts. So to complete this look, my glasses of course, and if you do want to 
when you get to your destination be wearing your contacts and just bring them along with you and then after your flight put them in afterwards but not really necessary and of course flights can tend to get a little cold so I like to wear a brightly colored scarf my sister actually made this it's made out of recycled silk and I believe she crocheted it yeah she crocheted it so add a scarf you want to dress in layers when you're flying because maybe you'll be a little too hot on the plane and want to shed some layers and maybe your plane is going to be freezing cold and the person next to you has their air on blasting high so so there you have it that is my airport traveling routine I I like to look my best because then I feel my best and I and just ready to go on whatever adventure awaits. Hope you guys have a great day, and if you are traveling anytime soon, I hope you have a wonderful adventure, and I'll see you guys around. Bye.